Hi, welcome to Gene Paul's Corner, my corner of the world. And this is Gene Paul. And parang ang tagal ko nang hindi nasasabi yun sa mga opening ng mga videos natin. Pero wala nang masatagal pa sa new wave ng Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pop since last year. So, yun ang feature natin for this episode. So, we'll unbox the new wave of Funko Pops ng Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay, right off the bat, simula na natin kagad kasi marami siya and then marami ring mga exclusive na wala tayo. <laughs> Kaya ipapakita na lang din natin siya during that time lang, dun sa mid-break um, natin. So there are nine regular Funko Pops sa new wave ng uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yung unang-una is uh, this one, Pop Marvel number 1157 from Spider-Man No Way Home, si Spider-Man. Ito yung Tom Holland Spider-Man naka upgraded suit siya dyan. And uh, yun nga, sasabi ko siya mayroon. Yung siya yung meron tayo. Okay. And the second one is this. Pop Marvel number 1158. Again, from Spider-Man No Way Home. Si Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Which is si Tobey Maguire. Yung unang-unang Spider-Man. Uh, mahal ng lahat yung best Peter Parker and then the third piece is this pop Marvel number 1159 again from Spider-Man No Way Home the amazing Spider-Man uh, this one is yung, yung nga, the amazing Spider-Man the best Spider-Man which is si Andrew Garfield ngayon maganda dyan sa tatlong yan meron siyang lahat tatlo sila na stand so yun yung best feature niya aside from that meron pang isang Spider-Man which is this Pop Marvel number 1160 from Spider-Man No Way Home si Spider-Man, si Tom Holland din to and this is the finale suit yung the ending suit, yung suit niya uh, dun sa ending yung nag-swing siya sa Times Square and um, yeah, this is somewhat metallic yung kulay blue sa so damit niya is metallic alright so also uh, dun sa first 3 na mga Spider-Man meron siyang 3 pack Although uh, Amazon exclusive siya, pero binandel lang siya sa isa. So um, we'll discuss that a little later. So the fifth piece, uh, this is a nine piece na set na to, is this Pop Marvel number 1161 from the same movie, <laughs> Spider Man No Way Home. Si MJ with the box. Ayan, box. This is MJ. Siya na sa kita. Siya lang yung babae dyan, tapos puro superhero na to. Number six is possibly the best dun sa set um, dahil sa heft niya, sa, sa bigat niya, as well as yung details na meron siya. So this is Pop, Marvel number 1162 from Spider-Man No Way Home, si Doctor Strange. Napakadami ng Doctor Strange. <laughs> Nakuha ko pa sa so, halos lahat ng movie merong isa o dalawa. Especially dun sa nung naglabas pa siya nung dun sa Multiverse of Madness. So ito yung... Uh, scene whereas to yung naghingi o yung yung nag-wish yung nag-grant siya ng wish multiple wishes ni uh, ni Peter Parker para makalimutan na siya si Smile tapos sa sticky details niya mamaya pang kita naman the seventh um, item ito rin um, maganda yung details niya most especially dun sa mga tentacles niya. So this is Pop Marvel number 1163 from Spider-Man No Way Home. So Doc Ock. Huwag mo yung didikit. Doc Ock. So yung details niya yung karatang MCU Doc Ock. Hindi natin pa ulit ulit. And then the 8th piece is Pop Marvel number 1164 from Spider-Man No Way Home, si Electro. Sayang to walang ginawang glow in the dark. So maganda sana siya kung glow in the dark yung uh, kuryente. And last but not the least, yung pinakakalaban, <laughs> pinakakantagonist sa movie, si Norman Osborn. <laughs> Pop 
Marvel number 1165 from Spider-Man No Way Home si Green Goblin na Norman Osborn stick to meron yung glider niya and then yung throat niya na ano na hoodie as Norman Osborn alright so there you go and then we'll uh, go ahead and unbox all of those nine. That was made a quick review. But first, let's check out the other exclusives sa Wave na. Let's go. So, yan yung nine uh, regular items sa Wave na to. And like I mentioned kanina, may release na three pack yung mga Spider Man. Si Spider Man na Tobey Maguire, Spider Man na Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. And si released or exclusive through Amazon and then meron din siyang super exclusive na 8 pack whereas to just like the 3 pack na same mold however this is the only way na makakuha mo yung dalawang exclusive items ito which is the lizard as well as si Sandman and this is exclusive through Walmart and yes medyo costly kung meron ka na nung tiki-tiki sa pero Yun yung pinaka price point ng tong set na to. You can only get those two exclusives na Lizard as well as si Sandman on this 8 pack. We also have these other five exclusives. Yan, totally different up, uh, same mold. Uh, yung isa, pero, uh, and then yung body ng isa, pero different yung ulo, yung head sculpt. Pero yung nasa ibabaw, yung Funko Shop exclusive, is the unmasked as well as battle damage na Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Yung pangalawa is PX Previous Exclusive na Andrew Garfield. Uh, this one yung sa scene na binato siya ng tinapay. Binabato siya ng tinapay ni MJ. So ito yung scene where as to we first saw Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man sa movie nung yun mask niya sa tinapay. And then yun nga, binabato siya ng tinapay ni MJ. For what? That's your Peter Parker. I don't carry an ID with me. The superhero thing. Do it. Good. For now. The third one from Hot Topic. Is a metallic na Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Same mold yan, pero metallic finish siya. So yun yung difference niya. Yun yung sinasabi ko na same mold. Um, the one in the middle, at the bottom, is yung box lunch exclusive na Green Goblin. This time, it's also metallic. Uh, pero of course, yung costume Green Goblin to. So I'll stick it. And then, the last one here is the Walmart exclusive na Ned. Ito yung uh, lumulutang siya. Nung binabasin Ned from the Statue of Liberty nung Cloak of Levitation ni Doctor Strange. Thank you, Mr. Cape, sir. And then, meron ding ni-release. Um, this, uh, for what I know, is coming from the first wave ng Spider-Man No Way Home ng Funko Pops, yung Spider-Man at Tom Holland in black and gold suit. So, unmasked yung regular from AAA anime exclusive. And then, yung chase naman niya is glow in the dark and then merong mask or masked na Tom Holland in black and gold suit. Pop and T combo naman from the second set is the finale suit. This time it's diamond glitter with this pop. Although early reveal yan for Target Con 2023, but of course, kasama siya sa, sa second wave. So this would be released up sa Target Con. Another early reveal is itong 8 piece set na to. For us to, of course, um, Target Con early reveal, uh, two of them palang. Uh, this is the battle scene with the three Spider-Men and the five na supervillains sa gold na Statue of Liberty dun sa gold. So, first two reveals is the Tom Holland Spider-Man na nakikita na dyan sa yung pinaka third of the eight and then the sixth one which is the Lizard. 
So, uhulaan nyo pa ako na yun. Kung sino yun nandyan. Pero, definitely, makikita nyo naman sa silhouette kung sino sila sa sina to. Sabi ni Johnny Clow, um, maganda daw kumpletuin to. Um, we will see. Um, it depends on the price point. Um, nito, pero maganda nga na magkaroon nitong scene na to. Kasi, aside from exclusive Yang Walong Yan, it's an iconic scene for the MCU as well as yung Spider-Man. Also, just like the 8-pack, uh, dito mo makukuha si Lizard as well as yung si Sandman for the set. And last but not the least, itong Entertainment Earth exclusive Funko Pop ni Matt Murdock catching the I Believe Mysterio Brick which is a scene in the movie. However, this is not movie accurate kasi sa movie nakaupo siya dito sa Funko Pop nakatayo. But that's not really a big deal. That's great. Well, I have some good news, Peter. I don't believe any of the charges against you are going to stick. But seriously? Oh my God, Mr. Murdoch, thank you. That's, thank you. that's amazing. You're welcome. Perfect. Peter, you may have dodged your legal troubles, but things will get much worse. There is still a court of public opinion. How did you just do? I'm a really good lawyer. So there you go. So we'll proceed now with the unboxing of the nine regular Funko Pops. Okay, so we'll do it differently um, this time, coming from the last one to the first. So yeah, Sting. So unang una, or huling huli, <laughs> is si Norman Osborn, or si Green Goblin, sa movie. Yeah. So Sting to, yung, of course it follows yung color scheme niya, na green and uh, purple. Then yung glider niya. So medyo may mga parts na parang metallic yung paint niya. Pero not all of them. Parang yung, uh, yung green is the metallic uh, parts. So, uh, mayroong mga small details like this, yung mga punit-punit. Yes, mga punit-punit yung uh, hoodie niya, yung jacket. Pero um, dito sa, ano, yung mga small details sa Stig, yan, mga punit-punit. Plus this, Stig. Alright. And then, si Electro is the next one. Si Jamie Fox. Ang... Astig dito is uh, also sa movie uh, kasi ginawa nila yung um, comic version na nag-star nag siya yung sa Electric. Kasi corny naman din masyado kung uh, gawin nila yung sa comics version yung green and yung spiky na costume niya. Pero meron din tayo nun, specialty series. So, and then Astig kasi um, mostly naman yung ganito na stunt na ginagawa nila. Uh, dati natatanggal yan and then kinakabit ngayon parang um, pinirmis, pinirmis na nila para hindi na hulugin o tanggalin and then yung eyes niya yellow normally sa ano to yun sa mga nakaangat sa lupa alright and then we come to doctor eto naka base siya dito naka pirmes pero hindi naman siya nakaangat sa lupa pero ayos naman din yung um, pagkakagawa niya and of course the green olive green or dark green and then yung detail sa uh, tentacles niya yung red yung this time yung parang nakuha niya yung nanotech yung dun sa scene sa movie na medyo nakuha niya yung nanotech ni ano, ni nung suit ni, uh, ni Tom Holland na uh, Spider-Man so uh, medyo uh, malambot yung mga tentacles niya and then um, simple details lang din ito and then ito yung yung tutusugin siya may patusugin the others yung ano lang yung red dot And I'm not sure kung pare-pareha sila o baka ito lang nakuha natin, nakatagilid yung mood. 
pero kung detail siya, astig din. Alright. And then, yung sabi ko na possibly paborito ko dito sa set is si Dr. Strange. Ito yung nag-wish na yung gawang dumadami. Tapos, gumagawa pa siya ng isa pang wish. pa rin yung ano, tasa sa ulo niya. Tapos yun nga yung sasabi ko, mabigat siya. And then yung cape niya helps on sa pag ano, pag-suporta sa pagtayo niya. So maganda to uh, sa collection. Uh, however, medyo napakalo yun nga. Binabangit ko palagi napakadami ng Doctor Strange. So, parang siya na yung uh, four toys, possibly siya na yung si Iron Man na nandun sa lahat ng mga movies. Although, of course, si Spider-Man, ito pa lang, napakarami ng Spider-Man. Pero, yung pagiging marami ni Doctor Strange, aside from hindi niya movie, isa pa rin. Isa yun sa uh, makukulit na mga details. So, next is MJ. Ito, meron siyang sariling stand na natatanggap. So, normally, yung mga ganitong stand na binibigay sa mga, ano, yung slim na katawan ng mga pangkupak. Normally, for uh, yung mga babaeng characters. Although, um, sana ang ginawa nila is yung dalawa yung peg. Kasi yan, um, tulad yung nagagalagala. Pero sana nga ginawa nilang dalawang peg para naka, uh, napipirmes. So, ito yung, uh, of course, yung damit na may natatang. Mad madaling matanggal kapag ginagalagal. Pero pag itatayo mo lang, okay naman siya. Ito yung uh, suot niya dun sa final scene din. Sa, sa latter part ng uh, movie. And then yung hawak niya yung box. That's MJ. And then we're on to the spiders, the spiders. So, yung finale suit, ito. Yung sinasabi ko, yung metallic, yung blue part. Stig. And then, another uh, detail dito, malambot yung, ano niya. Pero, ingat-ingat din, syempre. Baka mabali, pero, yeah, malambot yung pagkakagawa nila ng web, webbing niya. So, ito nga yung sinasabi ko, yung nag-swing siyang pag ano, dun sa ending part. Sa finale. Uh, ito yung tinahin niya metallic pala or hindi cotton yung ginamit na polyester yung gamit niya sa, sa te, yung tail ang ginamit niya na magtahil na dami alright so we're on to the Andrew Garfield or si Peter 3 so ito naman yung naka ano siya frog leap or frog jump So, wala namang masyadong details dito, pero of course, sa Myth Follows, yung damit niya sa The Amazing Spider-Man. Then, yun nga, yung iconic na ano niya. Kasi siya yung uh, tumatalon ng papalaka na talon. And then, it's a good small detail dito. Yan o, yung ginawa nila. Nilagyan nila ng web shooters. So again, this is Peter 3. And then, si Peter 2, which is si Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. So ito, walang web shooter, kasi alam natin <laughs> na organic yung uh, spider web niya. Then, medyo galit yung, yung mata, yung expression niya sa mata. And then, yung great difference dito is yung lining ng ng costume niya resembles yung resembling the web lahat naman sila meron pero siya yung merong uh, colors yung lighting yung yung lining and then uh, nothing much naman dito na additional detail uh, yun lang ano, yung silver silver line no costume niya so again this is Toby Maguire Peter 2 and then we're on to the first piece, Tom Holland, or is it Peter 1? Tom Holland Spider-Man Peter 1. Which is, like I mentioned, naka upgraded suit siya. Yung may nanotech na, na suit. 
pen lang. Metallic yung gold parts. And then yun nga yung upgraded version ng Spider. Then, meron din siyang web shooter. Ginawang detail na rin kasi dahil sa movie. I'm not sure kung makikita niya pero may itim siya lang. As well as dito. And then lahat ng Spider-Man meron yung stand para nakasuspend siya in mid-air. Alright, so there you go. So, nine na Funko Pops. We'll do a paikot on these. Boxed and unboxed. And of course, yung set. And we'll go ahead and um, uh, be creative on the paikot for this. And we'll also do a comment shout out from the previous episode. And thank you much for Corner Corner. So, let's go. Janik Lo, shout out to you. Thank you for your support. Alright, so like I mentioned, Paul Ito Rit, thank you very much for your viewers, members of Corner School, all of you who support the channel. If you watch the videos, like the like and the dislike, and the comments and stuff. So thank you very much for all of your support, especially for these from the supporters. Uh, walang sawang sa mga supporters sa channel and helping out the focus for the channel. So again, thank you very much. Shout out and thank you to the Corner Crew members. So like I mentioned kanina, na practically ang paborito ko dito sa set na to is si Doctor Strange kasi dahil sa uh, complete details niya as well as yung mga rings ng 
nung wish or yung magic niya so astig but of course hindi natin mapagkakaila na tayo halos lahat uh, paborito si Spider-Man so um, nabagit ko rin kanina na we're thinking about collecting or completing yung Statue of Liberty battle scene from the movie so we'll check and see um, price point on that and then we'll try to get that completed kasi especially kapag announced na exclusive and target po medyo nasa pricey side for sure and then walo pa walong uh, different items pa and possibly i-release pa sa ibang mga cons yung iba pero for what I know lahat yun under uh, target or only a target a target exclusive Alright, so of course, dahil maharaming in-unbox and maraming review, napakahaba na itong video. Totally with that. So, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever makes you happy. So, I'm going to for other people's happiness. Thank you very much for watching, and have one for them. Bye-bye. Hindi ko nagagamit yung kaliwa ko kasi yung dito. Yung mga Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Peter 1, Peter 2, Peter 3.